won't keep you in suspense any longer. <laughs> okay. Yesterday I woke up with a verbal faith moment. It's a question. And it's a scripture. The scripture says, Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Right? Right. Jesus sets free, you're free indeed. So my question for you is, are you bound? Are you bound? Are you bound? And the answer I heard, most people will say, well, of course I'm bound. And what kinds of areas I'm bound? But if the scripture says, whom the sun sets free is free indeed, then are you bound? So if I say, no, I'm not bound, because Jesus has set me free, then I have to say, why are you acting bound? Why are you praying like you're bound? Why are you behaving like you're bound? Well, that's because, you know, the scriptures tells us what reality is, but, I mean, what, what, what our legally position is, but reality is we're bound. Are you bound? See, the question becomes, what is, what does it mean to be bound? And if your faith is what overcomes the world, oh, wait a second, it said it overcomes the world. I thought I was using my faith to get unbound. Resist the devil and he will flee. Well, if you're resisting the devil and he will flee, is that because you're bound? Or is it because he's lying? He's telling you you're bound. So you have to decide. Now see, I have this book, Bible here. It says, I have, a, I have an interesting reference edition Bible. It says, Holy Bible Re reference edition. But they were real nice, and they put down here at the bottom two verses. It says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The just shall live by faith. So, that's what this Holy Bible is supposed to be telling us. Have you been reading your Bible? Yes. Then you should have faith. So do you have faith? Well, I'm kind of doubtful in a lot of areas. Uh-huh. So um, the just shall live by faith. Have you been justified in Christ? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, but are you living by faith then? Uh, well, no. Uh. All of a sudden, my mind was perceiving a contradiction, a problem, a compartmentalization, as it were. In this part of my brain, I'm free, I'm free. In this part of my brain, I'm bound, I'm bound. And I can't figure out why I'm so confused. So decide. Decide whether you're free or decide whether you're bound. Now the only other question is then, what's deliverance all about? What is the whole issue about deliverance? Getting set free of demons all about? Well, I'll tell you what it's all about. It's about this thing that jumped on your shoulder and is trying to bore its way through your armor so that it can stay attached to you. It's about this thing that's trying to somehow, some way, infiltrate your mind, convince you that it has total control. And in this regard, our faith becomes an issue. There are those who say demons can't even penetrate a Christian armor. Demons can't get inside Christians. Of course not. Why, we're in Christ. Then there's others that say, but it's obvious that they got in, and they go out. And we don't understand all that. So we must be bound. Now, I think the correct answer is to say, I'm free. I am not bound. So what are you going to do? 